the cuff. I'm Adam Banks. Thank you for listening. That song was Uptown Funk You Up by Bruno Mars. It's a good song. Nelly is with me. Nelly, how are you? I'm cool. Yes, it's an awesome winter night outside. and It's cold. Yes, it's after the holidays. I hope everyone had a good uh, Thanksgiving. No, but now the madness has begun. You can't get nowhere. Yeah, if you are in the Lexington, Kentucky area, and you have to come here, do not get on Nicholasville Road because... And don't go to Hamburg. Don't get on Nicholasville Road until January the 5th. Yeah. <laughs> because it's going to be like that every single day. It is crazy. Took me five lights to get through uh, from uh, right there in front of the mall entrance. Yeah. Oh, my God, I thought I was going to scream. How long did it take? You cross you? over Regency Road. How, wow. Between Target and the yeah, mall. Traffic is stupid. Oh, my and, God. And the way people act. Like, I'm, I know, like, and all ugly. And yeah, for these holidays. like Try to hit you and like, shit in like the car. Black Friday. Did you go out on Black Friday? Mm-mm. You didn't go out. Hell no. Well, I did. And I just want, like, the things that I experienced on Black Friday was, was it, it's like a culture. Almost like an American culture about what we do here. If you were visiting America from a different country and you were visiting America you would, and, and your first day on a, in America was on Black Friday, it would just blow people's minds. Right. They would think we were the most whacked out society ever because of the way people act I know it. on Black Friday. They will push you. Shove they will you. They shove you. They will knock you down. They will run over top of you. They will knock your kid over. Yes, and that was going on in these stores that I was going to. Mm. There was people just, uh, people had their shopping carts and they were banging Where shopping the carts. Where did you go? I was at Walmart. I was at the mall. I went to a bunch of places on Black Friday. The, wow. the Friday after Thanksgiving, you yes. You buy stuff? Um, I bought my, I bought two gifts. I bought my mom something and my stepdad something. And me and my brother split those gifts. Mm. So we got a, a nice gift with both of our money put together. Mm. But that's it. That's all I've gotten. My sister actually, for the first time ever of my entire life, she's two years older than me. And I'm 26. First time in 26 years she's ever asked, or she's ever told me what she would want for Christmas. She always says, I don't care. This year she told me, so I'm gonna get it. What is it? She wants bed sheets. Mm. So I, I don't know. She told me the brand, and I cannot remember the brand. So you I'm gonna have call to, her down. I'm gonna have to text her and say, "Hey, what was that uh, brand?" Yeah, of? you better get ready to spend some money. Well, she said they were like she said all they cost was like forty dollars, oh. and she was fine with the queen size and queen size bed. That's pretty cheap for sheets, ain't mm-hmm. it? Yeah, yeah I'd she, like to have a set of them myself. Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll let you fill yeah. them. Well, let me know because I might buy myself. We should go myself. together. We should go together and get that. Let, 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 let me look at it. You drive me there and stuff. What are you fucking talking about? Like, take me to the mall. Because I don't know where to find bed sheets. Oh, you go to Macy's probably the best. Oh, okay. I have no idea. So, um... Or Coles. Yeah, yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, on Off the Cuff, we like to have topics sometimes, and we like to, you know, pick certain things to talk about. You know, and I was wondering, um, we were talking about um, getting old, and I'm not going to stay on the getting old thing, because we talked about that old woman. Yeah. (laughs) About that old woman wearing the purple dress and the sweater. We can't talk about her no more. But I want to talk about old men for a second. Like, do you think, would you prefer bald hair or gray hair? There's no such thing as or bald, bald head, a bald yeah. head or gray hair. What do you prefer? Either or. Either or. You yeah, don't have a preference. No, I like. I like if the if a bald man has got a nice bald head. Yeah. And he's all tanned and everything. I, I like that look too. But I, there's some men that's got hair that I don't like the way they look. Like what if it's is it mostly gray? I like with salt and pepper. You okay? Ooh, it may. I feel like salt and pepper just would look just kind of like you're just not put together, like you're just. Oh a mess. no, I think it's sexy. No, well, salt and pepper just makes you look like you're a mess. Oh, See, it does. Not. Here's my thing: as long as I have hair when I'm old, you don't care. I don't care what color it is, <laughs> gray, right. 
Red, black, I don't care. Well, I just, see, I've ha- not had hair before. I just want to have hair. Okay, so like, I know guys my age that are losing their hair. Yeah. And it freaks me out. Like, I do not want to lose my hair. My brother-in-law was going bald before he got out of high school. But I've also seen people my age that their hair turns gray. Mm-hmm. I'm seeing that. It depends on your genes. I, I think it's all genetic. Your daddy's hair is pretty dark, pretty gray. You think it's gray? What color is it? It's it's like a brownish color. He don't have, he has like, he don't have gray hair. The fuck he don't, Adam? <laughs> he has gray hair, but it's not like a full head of hair. Not a, a full hair. head? No. 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 He's getting a little bit of that salt and pepper going on. <laughs> so you're trying to say my dad's sexy. Oh, I'm not trying to say that. Because <laughs> you said salt and pepper was sexy. Well, I said I, on some people. Oh, okay. So now you're saying he's sexy. <laughs> <laughs> That's I'm not kidding. fair. I'm kidding. So ladies and gentlemen, we uh, got it looking nice here in the studio. We've put up a Christmas tree. I decorated it myself. Ah, uh, the son of a bitch. And uh, it, it's pretty nice. It's got mm. blue ornaments for UK. And then it's got a little star, and then the star is me because I'm the host of Off the Cuff. <laughs> I'm, kidding. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I hate when you do that. I, I, can we just say that? I don't go on record and say I hate it when she does that voice. I didn't hear a thing, did you? That I just hate it. Uh, just, if, if Stash was here, I would have him rewind it. And, and, Take it and, out. And let everybody just hear, like, <laughs> I mean, what I did. that's what you did. You just made that noise. I did not. I mean, I just, I don't, what is that even supposed to be? Like, who are you imitating? Are you trying to, are you trying to, are you trying to imitate me? Are you trying? She's lost it, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, Lord, he ain't right. We just don't do that again. I said, Arr. No, you didn't do that. You were, <laughs> oh, <laughs> Stop. <laughs> you don't know what this sounds like to people that listen, because people listen, believe it or not, to this. <laughs> I know they do. So all they've heard is just these crazy, weird noises. Like, it wouldn't be as bad as what you were doing a while ago. <laughs> <laughs> so stop. All right, so ladies and gentlemen, uh, the Christmas tree is up, and, and uh, I decorated it. And Nelly did decorate it. It looks very nice. Thank you. Um, and uh, the, the, so there's a there's a little bit of Christmas spirit in the studio. So it's decorated the bar. The what? Our little bar. Yeah, the wet bar is decorated with uh, what do you call that? Garland and Gar- lights and. You know, I knew a guy back home. His name was Garland, buddy Garland. Oh. <laughs> Garland, Garland Hall and Ellie, I can't make this up. He was a big old guy. Did he know Judy? I don't know if he knew Judy, but uh, he, uh, he he had a wife and he had a son named Shane. And uh, they were nasty people. Ooh. I mean, the make you gag. They had a... Dirty. Por- they, dirty. No, uh, they, they, they had a family like that. They had a one-bedroom house. And uh, they all slept in. They were big and they'd sweat, you know, because it's so hot. Um. And they sleep on clothes. And uh, Nelly, uh, Garland, he what he did for a living, he drove that truck. And when his truck drove by, you'd, you'd gag. Because um. <laughs> he was the garbage man. Um. Yeah, so he would um, he would haul people's, like, junk. Like, he'd haul, like, stoves. And, yeah. and, and you know where his junk pile was, where he would dump it? He'd dump it in his yard. And he'd have a he'd have a refrigerator and shit sitting on his porch. Yeah, and couch. Uh, yeah, one time there was a snake got in one of his stoves. A snake. Oh got, my god! Yeah, got a, he's got a porta potty. He don't have a bathroom. They have a porta potty. Somebody on the school bus got off and burned it down. <laughs> burned down their porta potty. But anyway, Garland is uh, one of the nastiest men I've ever met. To this day, he's one of the nastiest men I've ever met. I mean, he is yeah, nasty. I, understand. I mean, like his nails. Uh-huh. Mm. You know, it was shit and everything else under. Him. Oh, he smelled like shit. He just total shit. There was a kid who used to come in my class like that. They'd tie him to the seat because he'd run off from school. Crazy. They tie him. Yes, tie him with a rope. Who would? The we used to have what they called a truant officer. 
So it was legal to tie kids up? Evidently, they did. That's crazy. It's crazy At how much. School, in my first grade class. It is crazy how much school rules have changed. And then they take him down. Finally, they get him calmed down. They probably give him something. When I was in the... And they took him to the nurse's thing, and they scrub him in a tub. Yeah, when I was in the first grade, um, I had to... come back the next day dirty as he was the day before. And I had to turn around and put my nose in the brick wall. Like, my teacher would make us stick our noses in the, uh, in the, uh, in the wall, and it was brick. Yeah. I, I remember this guy named Reggie. In, in, the, like, in the little edges of it. He got so mad, because, you know how little kids yeah. are. He was this big bully, big and bad. And yeah. I was standing beside the brick wall with him, and then she was like, Reggie, did get nose down on that wall. And he's like, got a money. Yeah. <laughs> Buddy. <laughs> he said, he said, I keep, I mean, we had our, when I think about it, it, it blows my mind that we were kids and she had our noses in a brick wall. Do you think that would stand in 2014? No. no. I got my ass busted with a paddle. Yes. I mean, that, that stuff, that stuff. I got, I got whipped with a paddle by a woman teacher, but out in the hall. Yeah. And I had a skirt on. My mother was livid. Well, um... Because we all wore them miniskirts back in. Well, my thing is, like, we didn't even think to go home and tell our parents. Like, we didn't want our parents to know we got no, trouble. No, because you didn't trouble at home. Yeah, we didn't want them to know that we were in the naughty chair in uh, second grade, you know? But I always went home and told Mom, because Mom would go to school. And, and they had a naughty chair and, like, a head yeah. start. That's weird that they had that. They sent me behind the piano. That... that that is crazy. Did they Locked play... me off from the rest of the world. Did they play it? No. <laughs> That's awful. They put you behind the scary. piano. scary. Yes. I was scared anyway. Were you, was it like dark back there? No, but it was still scary because I felt it alone and I wanted my mom. Was was the kids like wondering where you were? Well, hell, they heard me. I was crying. Oh, my gosh. Nellie, what, what grade was you in when this First. happened? <laughs> That's crazy. Wasn't she like a total bitch to you, though? Yes. She whipped me. Remember I told you she whipped me for color and the wedding dress red? Oh, yeah. Tell that story. Well, we all had to we all had this pictures, and I had a picture of a wedding dress, and I painted it red because you know paper's white. You know how you are with the kids; you don't want to paint with a white crayon right, forever. Right, right. And I took it up there to show it to her, and she spanked me because I painted I colored it red so that it was supposed to be white. Now, who wants to give kids something they got to paint the whole thing white? What did she say to you? When, when you why said, would you do, why did you paint the color that red and spike me on the butt? Wow. Well, I was just so humiliated, and so. Do you remember this hurt. woman's name? Yeah. Say I'll it. I'll never forget her name. Hayes, Mrs. Hayes. Mrs. Hayes. Do you remember her first name? Oh, what was her first name? She died. She's dead now. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, there were just some mean teachers. She, what was her first name? I used to know it. I've been to her house. Well, you know what, though, Nellie? Uh, that's just how it was back in. It's awful. I mean, that no, I'm just saying that's just how people were. People were stricter in those areas in, oh, in yeah. those days. Like, now, parents, they don't... Uh -uh. It's totally different. How, and, and in schools, do you think that that would fly, what happened to you now? No. If a student got whipped because they colored a picture... Yeah. A wedding dress red? Somebody do that to, to a little six-year-old, five-year-old? Uh-uh. Mm -mm. It wouldn't happen today. No. They could get away with that back in, like, 1950. You know, I had never been to a wedding at six years old. No. No. You know, what did I know about it? Exactly. They didn't show that shit on TV. You didn't, then. You didn't, like, you were never at weddings when you drew that? Not a bad time by the six. Did you know it was white, though, the wedding dress? Did you think it was supposed to be white? I colored the damn thing any color I want to is yeah, what but, I thought I did. But did you do. know the correct color? Did you know that? No, it, because I'd never seen a wedding dress before. So were you confused when she was whipping you? Yeah, I thought, what would I do wrong? Then she explained it to me, and why did you try doing that first? <laughs> Why did you say, honey, that's pretty? You right. did a good job. You stayed in the lines, which I did. You were in the uh, education industry when yeah. you worked. Uh, did you were, were you ever like over a class? 
I've had to go in and talk to classrooms about the center and different things. And, and it, it, like you, you know, when you so you've seen in classrooms like how with kids, like there's one in every uh, group that you can always kind of pick out the bully. You can pick out the kid who kind of has a rough life at home. I just kind of talked out. to them about you know if they had uh, um, problems, like like they had a kid in their class that all of a sudden got real quiet, you know, and wouldn't talk, and people got to making fun of them and stuff. So your job was they need the resource to, director. Yeah, and they needed to learn to you know reach out to that child because they don't know what's going on with them at home. Right. You know. They could be getting mistreated or not getting to eat or even. So, did you ever like pass out like deodorant and toothpaste mm -hmm. and stuff like that? Take it to people, take it to parents' houses, talk to them, their parents about keeping their kids clean. Nice. It's scary sometimes. Just walking in some up, There was this woman, she was a lurch. Oh, I mean, Lord. she was a huge woman. Oh. And she had this little creepy ass boyfriend that mm. lived with her. And I went up there one day, and I'd go up there almost once a week for them for something. Why so much? And because they were idiots. Oh, my God. And their kid was, cr one of them was crazy. Well, I'd go up there, and they lived in this motel. And I'd go up there, and I would bring them that stuff. I had, like, shampoo and soap and deodorant. And, you know, they had three boys and, you know. Yeah, yeah. Went up there to talk to him again, and uh, when I was turned around, he come up behind me, like almost touching me from behind, and I was a little bitty thing. <laughs> yeah. I turned around, and I looked at him. I said, you see this bag of stuff? <laughs> he said, yeah, and I said, you ever do it again? And I said, I'll take this and bust you right up in the face with it. <laughs> I said, don't you ever come up behind me again. <laughs> and ladies and gentlemen, this is Adam Banks and Nelly with Off the Cuff. We want to thank you for listening. This has been a great, great episode. Happy holidays to everybody. We'll see you. Have fun, everybody. Woo! Don't believe me, just like.